Naomi is still very over. The crowd, it was funny because they would mention her name and everybody would explode. And then she actually shows up and then went even more crazy. And, you know, she did make it seem like she's not with WWE anymore. And we have heard that she's not signed with them. But anything could happen. I could see a Trinity or Naomi showing up. Maybe they implement that as part of the blood storyline, bloodline storyline. Maybe her involvement with the bloodline is going to be where they go in the absence of Roman Reigns. Because what I could see happening is Roman Reigns goes away for a while. And Jay Uso kind of takes over as the factor leader, starts making decisions and adding people to the bloodline that Roman Reigns is not okay with. And that's where the tension comes when he comes back. It's like, what did you do to my kingdom? Uh, so I could see something like that. I mean, I'm just like, I'm just... CM course, Punk is in LA too. After, just putting that out there. <laughs> if that happens, if there's going to be a ride on everybody's hands if that's the case. I mean, Tony <laughs> Khan, they had an agreement and, you know, uh, then Con and then Punk had the post stuff on Instagram. You know, because I do want to get into more. I know you have to run and get to the show and everything like that, so I don't want to hold you up too much longer. Uh, when you look, I have my co-worker at work. He's a massive Roman Reigns fan. And that's such, that doesn't sit well with me because I'm a big Cody Rhodes fan. And I think Cody has earned the right to have this moment where he has had this long – now the promos, and it's going to be epic tonight too with their promo. Is I mean they've touched things on AEW, the gimmicks, Romans, you know, uh, oh, the bloodline being broken up, stuff like that. People are saying that Roman could still win this match someday because of the record-breaking championship run. Can you actually see Roman winning this match? Because I feel like if that happens, where does Cody even go from here? Then, hundred percent, I could see. Roman wins this match. I think that's what's going to make it such a great that main event. That, it could happen then. Yeah, you know from watching my channel that I love Cody Rhodes. I do think he's going to win. I think they set him up to win this match. I don't think there's a way that they should have Cody lose. I do see a universe where Roman Reigns wins. WWE loves these milestones. The thousand days. That's something that they love promoting. They love their big numbers and milestones. And Roman Reigns is close to one. Uh, but I really think... Cody has to win just based on how over he's gotten, how everybody's on board with him. And nobody's turned on him the way they thought that people would when Sami Zayn was getting hot. It's time. The universe is aligned for Cody Rose to win. But I can see a universe where Roman Reigns retains. That's what's going to make this so great is that the near falls are going to be believable. I think they're going to have spots in here that lead you to believe that, oh, God, Roman Reigns is going to retain. I hope that does not happen because I really do think it's going to really hurt Cody Rhodes. And it's really going to piss people off in ways that WWE has not done in a long time in the Triple H era. They've rebuilt their trust. They love this product. So now that we're all on board, don't pull the rug from under us on the last night of WrestleMania and send people home pissed off. That will undo a lot of the good of the Triple H era. Now, I got to we'll get back. We're going to get back to WWE in one second. I got a few more for you, and I'm going to let you run. I'm very excited for the show tonight. Not even the SmackDown show. I'm going to try to tune in. I am out. I'm going to try to tune in. There's another show on tonight, though. That looks absolutely yes. epic. Should be fire. And now that they just added Daniel Garcia versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. Wow. And Sabata is wrestling at this show. Boy, Ring of Honor did a really good job this weekend. <laughs> for their show. <laughs> they took, they said, all right, we're going to pull some New Japan guys out. And we're going to put them in the show. And yeah. then we're going to put a guy over, like Eddie Kingston, who's as over as anybody. And we're going to put him in the main event against Claudio because they have one of the biggest robberies in the indie wrestling scene history. In your honest opinion, how do you expect that Ring of Honor show to compete tonight, being at the weekend of WrestleMania? Because I still do feel like it's going to, it's going to draw well. It's only mm -hmm. 30 bucks, I think, to watch it. Not expensive. How well do you think it sucks? You're not going to be able to be there because I know you're, you're going to SmackDown and to see the Hall of Fame, which is not a bad thing, right? But when you're pulling Shibata and Tanahashi out of the out of the out, out of the shelf and you're saying let's go, let's put them in the show, how well do you think this show is going to draw tonight? I think there's going to be a lot of people at this show just because it is WrestleMania week. There are a lot of people in town, and there are a lot of more hardcore wrestling fans who are going to be here for a live show like Ring of Honor. There are a lot of people who are AEW leaning, ROH leaning, yep. who 
who would rather go to a show like this, uh, especially seeing such a stack lineup and people who they're never going to be able to see, like Tanahashi, you know? How many times is he ever going to come back?